Hey, this is Rob, your Interactive Marketing Manager here at Gano Excel US, and today I want to show you how to set up your personalized marketing website in the back office. These sites are very important for your business. It's where your prospective customers or team members can go to place product orders or enroll in your organization 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all the time. So let's get this set up and on the web and get our business growing. After logging into the back office, click on the My Website tab up there in the right hand corner. When you do click on that, you'll see a bunch of options on the left appear. Website Manager, Create New Website, all of these things right down through there. Now if this is your first time in the section, you'll see the Create New Website screen immediately. If I go click on the Website Manager or any of the other sections, it'll send me right back to that Create New Website screen until I have made my site. Well, let's do that right now. The first thing we have to do is come up with a site description. Now, this confuses a lot of people, so pay really close attention here for me. Really, all you're doing is giving your website its own unique name to separate it from the other sites you may create in your back office. You can have up to five different sites, and for the sake of your own sanity, you should give them five distinctive names. So, the first site I'm setting up will have a little bit about the product and a little bit about the opportunity. So I'm going to call this My General Site. This might be the place I send people first when I'm sharing the news about Cafe 2.0. Only thing I need to do now is define a path or address for the website. I can name it anything I want. MyGanoCafe.com slash Cafe20Biz. MyGanoCafe.com slash GanoVictorySquad my pet's name, my favorite sports team, my first girlfriend, the favorite band, anything in the world. For our purposes, we're just gonna name this My General Website. So this means that when I contact people, I'm gonna tell them, hey, go see my website at myganocafe.com slash my general site. Pretty cool, huh? Now, you'll notice there's an option right there that says make this my default website. Since this is the first site I've created, it's going to make it my default by, well, default. Computer's smart like that. Now I click on save and I'm at the website manager. First site up and ready. Just by entering a site description and giving it a path, I've got my own marketing website up and ready to go. Let's explore it a little bit right now. Clicking on that link, you go to your site. Again. This is a hybrid site. It's a general site, so it's got mention of the opportunity and the product side by side. Up here you can see the opportunity tab with a compensation plan and tools that are available, all that. But we also have a product section that lets users shop for the different products. So we've got a shopping cart and a place for business builders to enroll. That is the General Gano Excel website. Welcome, you are online. What say we go crazy and make another site? Click on the create site thing up there. You see that? We got to create new website. Looks familiar. And the computer wants the exact same information, a site description, all that. So let's make another, let's make a retail site this time. And the address we're going to choose is my retail site. Uh, so I'll tell people myganocafe.com slash my retail site. But again, it can be anything I want. And I don't want to make this my default, so I'm not going to check the box. Save. All right, back in the site manager, and I've created two websites. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me to a retail site. I'm going to love this site so much. I'm going to send it to all my friends who want to order the product. It's going to be awesome. I click on my site, and it's still a general presence site. What do I do? Let's fix it in the layout and design section. Go ahead and click on choose your look and you'll see your three options, a general site, a retail only site, and a recruitment or leads capture site. And of course, we'll be adding to these all the time. Once I've created more than one website, I'll see something up here, it's a pull down menu called the Site Navigator. Now this option is very cool because it lets me jump between the various sites I've created and see all kinds of helpful statistics and options and contact stuff for that site in specific very powerful but I'm not interested in that just yet that comes a little later I'm going back to choose my look 
and I want to make this a retail retail site. So all I have to do is select retail site in the site navigator. I'll have these three options online presence, e-commerce or business builder. I've got my design it's called rustic Java and I'm going to click on the choose this design button making sure first however so there are no unfortunate slip-ups that retail site is definitely checked in the site navigator click choose this design and what happens BAM current design rustic Java dark I can see it right up there that's a mini preview of the page now let's stop for just one quick second and talk about this you have the power to set up up to five sites with an ever-expanding range of looks to them that can appeal to different kinds of markets if you've got someone who's just interested in product, send them to e-commerce. Someone who's primarily interested in opportunity and being an entrepreneur, send them to Business Builder. Somebody who might want to do a little bit of both, who isn't quite sure yet, send them to your online presence site. It's a pretty powerful range of options. All right, let's talk about making the site even a little more personal with the My Content tab. Right now what we're going to do is add a picture, so I'm going to click Manage My Pictures, then Add. I'm going to choose some sort of a picture name, in this case, My Photo, it could be anything though. Browse in the File to Upload part and find a picture somewhere on my computer. In my case, it's in My Documents, My Pictures, and I want to put up this beautiful pastoral scene. Could be Ireland, who knows where it is. I like it, it inspires me. So I'm going to click OK let it load and then we'll see it right down there now I want to go down to step two and select the photo I see the photo right there make sure I've got the site I want it displayed on in the site navigator and click Save now on my retail site beautiful Ireland now let's look at the my content tab further personalization say you've got a favorite favorite product you're just crazy about the Tom Ali, and you want to drive up sales of that or you just want to recommend it to people well, first thing you're going to do is select Retail Site in the menu up there. Then you'll scroll down and choose the product you want to feature. Just click the Feature This Product button and you're completely set. One of the coolest things about our back office is that every time you make a change, it auto-publishes it to the website. So once you've added a picture or added a featured product, you're set. Your replicant site changes automatically. Let's change our contact information. With the My Content Information tab, you can change the name, email address, and phone number listed on your website. You can give as much or as little information as you want here. You don't have to fill it out. You don't have to put anything there if you don't want to. It's totally your call. Whatever you want to give, once you're happy, just click Save, and you're done, and the information is live on your website. We can also give you some pretty detailed information on how much traffic your website has received. You can see hits per day, per week, all of those things. Which pages are being viewed the most? Everything. Good stuff for you to know, right? Using the Site Navigator, you can easily bounce between the different sites and see statistics for all of them. Now, this is a pretty deep subject here. There's a lot to get and there's a lot that can really help you grow your business. So we're going to dedicate a whole training to it and really show you the report section. Right now, just know it exists. All right, once I'm happy with all the stuff I've changed over here, my content, my pictures, my personal information, I'm gonna click Make It Live, click Go Live. I'll see the processing bar, and then, guess what? It's live, I can click there to see it now. Your site will pop up in all its full glory with pictures and information and all this business. I'm not gonna do that right now because we're just about out of time, but that's how you set up your personalized marketing websites in the back office. You've got three basic layouts, loads of other customizable options and it's all pretty straightforward once you get into and get your hands dirty with a little bit thank you so much for watching keep in touch in the comments through the email on the twitter at the blog and thank you good luck with your business